Hi guys, welcome back to the vlogs. I hope you guys like my outfit. I have my compression gear on. If you guys missed the last vlog, I got air sculpting done on my chin and I have this compression gear that I'm really supposed to wear ideally 24 hours a day for two weeks, but since it's on your face, they really say 20, 48 hours and then you can wear it 12 hours a day for the next like two weeks. But I'm going to Europe on Friday, so I'm trying to just wear it as much as possible because you get the best results. Um, I'll probably like get ready today. I'm gonna go Preston and I have plans later this afternoon slash evening. So I think I'll get ready and take off my uh, air sculpt thing. Merry belated Christmas, happy new year. Yesterday was Christmas. I drove back from my parents this morning and I am getting back to work. This is always one of my favorite weeks of the year because it's still cozy, it's just cute. I get really motivated, it's like vision board time and it's the part of the holidays where I feel less like a slob and more like I'm gonna take over the world, you know? I'm going to Foxtrot right now because I'm gonna get some work done um so i'm leaving for paris on friday and i ordered a new like carry-on bag from calpac and it's not going to get here in time so i think i'm going to stop at the away store and see if i like that honestly i'm like stressed about packing which is so stupid like i don't want to say stupid because what i'm about to say is i think it's like somehow how my travel anxiety is like manifesting because i don't normally actually i do have travel anxiety i don't know i'm not stressed about actually going or anything like that but for some reason i'm so stressed about packing and like i i don't know why i normally travel all the time so whatever if y'all are new here be sure to subscribe we're also making vision boards it's gonna be a great week like very motivating cute cozy like sit back relax hope you guys enjoy let me know what you guys want to see on the channel in the new year um, I got a lot of kitchen stuff for Christmas, so get ready. Here we go. It'll be the same style when you open it up. You'll pack into it under the uh, the mesh pocket, whereas on this one. I just like froze outside. It's 42 degrees, which isn't like that cold compared to what it's been, but I edited outside and I forgot my headphones, but no one else is there, so like whatever, but it was so cold. I just went to away, as you guys saw. I'm really sad because I got the perfect cow pack like carry on and I looked at the away one and I think I like it. I didn't want to like go and buy it immediately. I wanted to think on it, so I might go back and get it. I don't know which size I really want, and I just need to look at the comparisons. I wish more than anything, the Calpac one was gonna arrive in time. It just isn't. And I don't think you can buy Calpac in stores or even that one. I need to look. I think I already did that. You know what else is like so cute right now? The matching, like silk looking, they have patterns. I know that like travel pillows and matching sleep masks, like, I love that. I ordered one from Calpac, but it's gonna be here after the fact, which is fine because I'm still traveling a lot this year. So we gotta see. <laughs> I've got a lot of travel in January alone and there's a potential trip that would be crazy and if that ends up happening, then I'm gone like nonstop. So it's fine, like I'll, it'll end up getting used. Back home getting some more work done. Heated up this beef stew I made on Christmas Eve. The, it's bone broth, no beef bone broth stew, something like that. The purple things, by the way, are purple sweet potato. It's not the meat. It's so good. I put too much bone broth in and I put too much salt, so I know how to fix it for next time. The easiest thing ever and it's so good for you. I see my face. Also planning on going to Austin a lot more to record at our Dear Media Studios there. I already have two books for next month. So my plan is to fly in like that morning and fly out that evening. That's what I'm planning on doing. So I feel like that's like the perfect bag in case I'm just there for a day. I think I'm done with work for the day. I'm gonna go take a nice bubble bath and relax, wash my compression gear and read in the tub, and then I'm gonna meet Presley uh, at Highland Park Village in like two hours. Trying to make sure that I'm drinking more water than ever now. 
Also, guys, I have to show you. I got so many kitchen things for Christmas. I got a whole new spice set, and I'm so excited. And I accidentally left them at my mom's house. So hopefully I'll get those this week. I plan on organizing the kitchen this week, and I really wanted to replace those, but I'll get it when I get it. Okay, so here's a few things. Jess got me this cookbook holder, which I've been needing. Part of the reason that I love the kitchen so much, the cooking and everything, is because I am fully away from the technology and just like, you know, by myself. But I hate when I have the recipe like on my phone. I just like hate the fact that there's technology because it's like this is where I just like get away from that. You know what I mean? So I got a recipe book that I can put all my cookbook stuff in and I also have a bunch of cookbooks. This is from Sir Latav, which is one of my favorite like stores where I do all my cooking classes and stuff. And what's awesome too is that it has these two things up here that hold the book back. I mean, it's just gonna be so nice. I'm so excited. It looks so beautiful. Just like one of those things that I'll probably keep forever. And then my mom got me these measuring cups that I think are so cute. I'm like really into really girly things these days. Like I like the cottage chic stuff too. I just ordered two blankets from Love Shack Fancy. Like I, I just love them. They're so cute. So it's a cup, three fourths cup, half cup, one fourth cup. They're just like the cutest thing ever. And I like how they're stored. So I love those. And then she also just got me some cute like little kitchen and dish rags and love them. So some of the kitchen stuff I got. I would take my Christmas decor down, but I'm not doing that because we're extending Christmas another week and we're fully celebrating this week. I've decided. So is Presley. So I won't be taking the Christmas stuff down. It's not happening. I'll be taking it down in the middle of January. Texas Live sent me like a hangover kit for New Year's Eve. That's so funny. All right, guys, I just got ready and I put this outfit on and it's not as cute as I had envisioned. It's just this cream coat and I have a white sweater on from Aritzia and then I have my, um, just a pair of Abercrombie Curve Love jeans on underneath. Let me show you guys. Coco won't move, so I can't really move back. Oh, there she is. Okay. No, she's still not moving. I have these shoes on. Um, they're Sam Edelman. They really need to be washed. And, like, yeah, I could. Like, I obviously could wash them before leaving. Because I'm not leaving for another, like, 20 or 30. But I don't want to. And part of me wants to just put my Uggs back on. So, I'm letting TikTok decide for me. I don't know. The outfit is just kind of, like, blah. Like, I don't know. You know, I just like, don't feel your best. Like, my skin is really dry. Don't feel like my makeup went on that well. Um, I know that, like, another bag would look cuter with this outfit. Like, specifically, honestly, wait. This bag would look so cute with the outfit. It's, like, perfect. But I want to bring my big vlog camera. But maybe I need to bring my small. Because, like, listen, the puff bag is obviously my favorite bag ever. But this bag, it looks perfect. But I need my vlog camera. So... I don't know, I guess I could bring the Canon G7X, and I don't wear this bag enough. So I think that this is what I'm gonna go with. Okay, I decided that we're taking the tabby bag out on the town. I got this for Christmas last year, and I haven't worn it nearly enough. It is the most beautiful, beautiful bag, especially for the winter time. I will say, I do kind of wish I would've gotten this size smaller, because I feel like I would've worn it more. I don't know, actually. I really don't know. My eyes are really watering. In the middle of the night last night, I woke up. Oh my god, they're really watering. Oh no. I woke up in the middle of the night, and I, like, rubbed my eye, and, like, I think there was, like, a hair or something in it, and it was watering for, like, two hours. I went and washed my hair, or my eye out, like, 15 times, and it was just, like, the worst pain ever. I don't know what is with me in, like, eye drama. I just always have some sort of eye problems. Okay, I'm gonna take the dogs outside. Um, and then I'm leaving soon. Uh, it's so cute. It's so cute. Press I can't believe they extended the holiday just for us. I know, Mr. <laughs> and Mrs. Claus. It's so. crazy. <laughs> we got our marks. Press gets a mark, no salt. I get a mark with salt. And then we got our favorite guacamole. We've been waiting for this for like literally all week. I'm so happy. It's perfect. Oh my god, the snow. <laughs> it's crazy. Perfect. Oh my god, I love Christmas. No, I would be fine to sit out here. It actually feels pretty warm out right now. Compared. Because 
The Bowen House is the cutest place literally ever. Great espresso martini is here. Wow. Bowen House espresso martinis. They're really good. I got on tequila. It's crazy because like at the same I'm time, strong. very strong. At the same time that I was like obsessed with the ranch that I was going to Russia all the time, it's coming here all the time and I just like I know put it all together. I know. I we should have booked a trip this week. That would have been so fun. We actually probably so could. Mm -hmm. oh, do you think I could? I can't work out for cheese. You think I can mm. ride a horse? I feel like it's probably like the. Oh, actually, I don't know if it would yeah, be like the movement of it or like the actual like sweat or like tension. Horse oh, riding is a workout. Tech yeah, that's true. My legs are always sore after horse park riding. Oh, so I don't know if I like the orange in this. I know. Is that what I'm tasting? I thought it was just the smell of the slice. It's smelling it, but like I smell I it. I taste it too. Yeah. I Is look at these cute little like Christmas tree treats that I have for the dogs. Hi, Coco. I woke up early. I'm about to go back. Well, part of me is like maybe I should read in the living room. Yeah, maybe I'll do that. I'm just gonna have like a nice morning reading, a leisurely morning when it's cold out. Shaking my coffee, reading. I need it. Oh my god, Coco, you're not supposed to be standing. You're not even really supposed to have treats right now, but I'll make an exception. Um, update on Coco's health. She has a lot of energy. She's down certain doses. If you guys saw in the recent um, week of my life vlog, she had a really scary health scare um, with like IBDD and whatever. She's not a surgery a candidate for surgery. It's not that bad yet. And hopefully she'll be like crate resting and resting for the next four weeks. She hasn't. She just ran now. She's either like on my lap or I'm watching her if she's doing something or really in the crate. Which is so sad because like Coco just doesn't, I mean actually, it's like I say she doesn't like the crate and then she just like walks in it. So, you know, maybe I just like want her to like me more than the crate. But either way, she has to like rest so her like just doesn't get worse. Anyways, I've been taking care of her like nonstop. It's really a full time job. But anyways, love her so much. Made myself some coffee. Gonna go grab my Kindle and make my bed and then come down here and read. I've been... My face is really puffy because I had two marks and why of uh, no not wine. Um espresso martini last night. I always regret the second Margaret water on her bar. Like I always am like, one would it just be good? I mean, look at him. He has been such a trooper and he has been so worried about Coco. But now he's over worrying about Coco and he wants all the attention on himself. So she comes up to me, he goes and sits in front of her. Oh, look, he's giving me the side eye. Last night I woke up to him literally on top of me. Fitz, I love you. Hey guys, okay, I have teeth whitening strips on. Oh my god, I sound, I'm on my way. I'm getting like my roots touched up, my extensions. I don't know why my sister didn't do this last week. Oh my god, I can't do this. Um, it, but I'm getting a blowout out of it, so whatever. I also need a better haircut, so that's what we're doing. Tonight is vision board night with my friends. I'm gonna cook dinner. We're all just gonna hang out. I have a lot of just like random stuff I need to do on errands today. Or this morning. Oh my god. Having my sister give me okay, a tutorial. Like uh-huh. And then you want to grab a piece and like wrap it around so it has uh, and then fall down. Yeah, I think that's the part I'm and missing. Then go back up and like let it cool. Oh. Like that. And then it like Got like it. This. That's how she did that. Okay, I, I think I'm getting it now. Oh, I always put this brush back in here. Guys, I just got like the best blowout ever. It's the perfect blowout, the one that I'm always looking for um, from Erica at Global. I got a little haircut as well because I'll put on the screen what my hair looked like last week. It was so embarrassing. But anyways, if you guys need a good blowout, I do have a um, dry bar membership. That's why I go there, but honestly, I like, want to cancel and just go to Erica because it was literally the best blowout ever and they're faster there and it's just the best. It's also where I get my hair done. My sister does my color and extensions, Madison Piper. Gus cuts my hair and then Erica just did my blowout. 
and Erica is just like so nice and it was so good. So if you guys need a blowout, you also get money off if you mention my name. I don't know like what the discount is or anything, but like still money off. I'm at Global in the design district. Ooh, it is so cold. I have a few errands I need to run. I spent my time working and looking up recipes of other things I'm gonna make tonight. I'm really living my best life. I'm experiencing soreness in my neck. <laughs> like, I, my neck is like a little bit bruised. Obviously you guys, are, guys have seen it and sorry if these updates are annoying. I'm just more so sharing it for people who like care. It'll be 20 seconds. Um, I feel like the swelling has obviously gone down a ton. Like, I don't feel, I mean, like, I notice that I'm swollen, but I don't feel like it's super obvious to, like, the next person. Like, we always are harder on ourselves, you know what I mean? But I am feeling a little soreness here. And today is the day that I'm wearing my head, my compression wrap, like, the least amount compared to the other day. So, anyways, I'm on my way to Away right now. I need to pick up the bag i think i'm gonna go to anthropology one thing that i need is like good serving dishes now here's the issue i don't have storage for this stuff i am gonna go through my kitchen and like organizing and you know maybe make some room this week like maybe i have more room than i thought in my kitchen i just don't know if that's necessarily true or if that is actually the case um but like here's the thing like i bought a food processor all that stuff and it's like listen i i'm not a pesto girl so I don't really care about a food processor, even though you'd use it for other things. Like, is it, can I just use my blender? Like, uh, I don't need that stuff, you know? And I would love it if I had a bigger kitchen. That's like my biggest dream in life. Like I dream of my big kitchen. When I'm at my parents' house, specifically my mom's house, I am just so jealous of their kitchen. Like this is what gets me going. Anyways, all that to say, I need better like serving dishes and I'm going to make dinner for my friends tonight. I'm gonna make, the engagement chicken just because it's so good um and i think i'm gonna do like brown sugar glazed carrots and like risotto or something i haven't really made risotto on my own and i haven't made the carrots either so we're trying new things but i i just need them and they get pricey so i am gonna look at anthropology just to see even though that is gonna be really expensive but i like cute ones and i feel like i'll use them all the time you know what i mean I did have quite the wake up call this week though guys. There is this store in Dallas that I'm obsessed with. Everyone goes and like does their wedding registry there and it's just like really cute. Uh, well not everyone, clearly, after you guys hear this. I actually think this is just like a reality wake up call for me as a whole. So I'm looking on the site because I'm like oh my god their tabletop stuff is like unbelievable. It's so beautiful and like tabletop is really like what makes me happy, right? I'm like, this set is so cute and perfect. It's exactly what I've always wanted. I look at a platter, $300 for just one, one plate, $300, guys. I have to be so rich. Like, this is what I've, the conclusion I've come to from this is that I have to be disturbingly, like, disgustingly rich, and I still don't know if I'm gonna wanna pay that. Like, I see why it's a wedding place, because, like, it, that's like a wedding gift. You know what I mean? had no idea how expensive this stuff was. I mean, I could have guessed, but something about that one thing being $300 and you needing like 25 to complete the set, it's not really sitting right with me. But that being said, I still want it. So I'm going to anthropology because I cannot afford a $300 plate. I am not, I haven't hit that level, you know? I mean, I guess technically I could afford it, but then I would just be like, you know, taking out a second mortgage on my house like just things like that you know refinancing i mean guys i cannot get over this blowout eric did such a good job all right to anthropology we go one of my favorite places i miss the old store in highland park but love it these remind me of my childhood all of their like christmas stuff is on sale i'm getting these I guess I'll just do six. Okay, best thing that just happened to me. You have a serving plate, but the holiday plates and stuff are on sale. The plates ended up being $7.77 each, so I'm gonna go and order even more online that I didn't have in store. It's like the plates that I've always wanted, but just never like justified the prices. Back home. My other part of my Christmas gift came from Jess. She got me these really beautiful like olive oils. 
like this is truly my best week ever because everything that I'm receiving is kitchen stuff, which is why I need a bigger kitchen. Um, they're all over TikTok and they're beautiful. Like I don't really know that much about them other than what a good gift. I think I might dabble in like trying different olive oils and stuff. People always like get it when they travel and it's always such a good gift. Love these. Also, they're so cute to just have out on my counter. So I will be doing that. I'm thinking like here. I'll be using this tight. Extra olive oil. Here or something. Got all my like workout stuff, but can't even work out this week. So I'm gonna move it over there. Keep Coco's meds over here. One of my favorite gifts that I've ever received are these cocktail napkins. They are just, oh my god, chill. They're so cute and they're so good for hosting, so I'll leave these out for tonight. Anyways, I have to show you guys what I got at Anthropology. I just said that so fast. I have always so badly wanted their like holiday plates, even when I was a young child, a young girl, if you will. Speaking of finding cheaper plates, okay? They didn't have any serving plates. Oh, they did have one. The new Anthropology, the one on Knox, like the Highland Park Village one was so much better. The one on Knox, it's like a specific crowd of Anthropology that like I don't subscribe to. It's like more like bland. The one at Highland Park Village is more fun. You know what I mean? Anyways, I got these because it's, well, it's three French hens, okay? But anything like hens or rooster or whatever related reminds me of my childhood because we all, like my cousins and I, all of our moms are interior decorators basically. And we all lived at certain parts in different states. Or at one point we were next door neighbors. So I guess they just didn't care. We had identical houses growing up. Like we had the same wallpaper, the same like red hen rooster stuff, the white thing. I've vlogged about this before. We had all had the same houses and we all had this stuff. So it reminds me of my childhood. Which makes me want to get more. These are like more like dessert plates. They're smaller. I don't know what I'm saying. They're originally 18 a plate and I got them for $7.77. So I got three of these, which I feel like I need more of. And then I got three of these. And obviously they don't match. And these are like the 12, well this isn't even the 12 days of Christmas. But you know how they have like the, these are like the three French hens and they have like four shoulder loves and whatever. So you can get that whole set and they're mix matched. Which I didn't do and maybe I should have. But I just thought this was so cute too, but I only got three. So part of me is like, later when I'm actually serving with these, am I gonna be like, I need all of them? But then it's like, I really have no room. And these are gonna go downstairs in my garage where I have like storage and storage bins and stuff when I put the Christmas stuff away. But I just thought they were so cute. And then I also, I just got another volcano candle because I mean, you can never have too many. They're the best ever. I actually, just got a Pura, not sponsored, paid for it myself. Um, one thing about me is that I'm very influenced. Like, I bought Athletic Greens myself. I am not working with them. Uh, bought Pura myself, not working with them. And I'm actually really big fans of both. So, anyways, gonna light this candle, have it going. I think I'm gonna eat a little bit. I've been surviving off of that foam broth thing. I wanna do more cooking videos, but I feel like no one like wants to watch them. Or like, no one does watch them. Maybe I just keep it to like TikTok or something. I don't know. Anyways, I'm going through this. Oh, and my goal though today is to go through my closet. I'm out of hangers again. So I need to go through of like what I want to donate, what I want to keep. And then from there I can like hang up the clothes that like don't have hangers. It's just so stupid. Perfect. I don't know if they're still going to be on sale. When this vlog goes up, but I'll link it. I'm honestly going to get on Anthropology right now and then just, like, buy the actual bigger plates. I mean, they're just, like, so cute. But these, I honestly could, like, use year-round if you just don't look at the three French hens. I just think they're, like, so cute, and I love this one. Like a little dessert plate, you know? Maybe my holiday aesthetic or vibe will be all mismatched. Mismatched. I don't know. Anyways, I got the large everywhere bag. So it replaces a carry-on, like if you were to bring a carry-on, like a roller, because it's big and it can't fit underneath the seat in front of you. But if I'm just doing like night trips to, I'm, I'm bringing this to Europe as like my second bag, my carry-on, but um, also if I'm just doing like really quick trips to Austin and stuff, it might be like perfect for me. So you open it and there's more stuff, like there's a lot of room. 
for clothing and whatnot. Oh god. Okay. Oh. And then over here, like I'll put my laptop and stuff. Keep this with me. And then I don't know if I can keep this in, but I'm gonna film it and then ask Jess. The okay might be working on a little Kindle sleeve so I can take everything like or this is like also like fits other stuff so I can put in everything that like I need during the flight in there and just grab it out of this bag. That's my plan. So like laptop and all that will go here and then I'll probably like do spare outfit and stuff in here my New Year's Eve outfit just in case and whatever else I feel like needs to be in this. And I will definitely be using my strap so, I'll link this as well. It's the large every wear bag, and I read the reviews online. I've been really into reviews these days. Like, I'm not normally reading up on reviews constantly, but it's, like, been my new thing, guys. Um, I read a lot of reviews about this, and people really love it. But also, I'm, like, interested because you guys know that, like, reviews and stuff are paid for, and, like, businesses can pay to, like, only show the good ones. So, like, what do I believe? You know what I mean? Oh, nice little padded strap there. I don't know. I'm a little too trusting. Rescheduling tonight. I was gonna have my friends over for dinner and then we we're doing vision boards and then everyone is like had a lot going on So we're rescheduling and honestly, I randomly got so Tired and I was like, you know, I'm not even gonna have a night like to myself before I leave and I'm with people for a week straight Like this is the night to have a night by myself, you know Still might vision board a little bit. I'm kind of just doing that throughout the week um, It's really nice to just like have your new plans and stuff, but I'm ordering myself in dinner. I've been like really on like a true food kick lately. Um, I'm gonna get comfy. I'm gonna edit some of this vlog and I'm gonna read hopefully and just really chill. It's only like 5 p.m. and I am so tired. Good boy, are so good. Aren't you, Pop? Hi. Good morning, guys. Today is Wednesday. I'm about to go get my nails done and then I have my one week post-op appointment for my chin. Today, I'm hoping to organize the kitchen. That doesn't sound fun right now, but it will. Like, I'll make myself think it's fun. I'm gonna gaslight myself into thinking that I wanna do this. A lot of greens. I don't have a hand frother. I mean, actually I have four and not one of them works. This is what I'm gonna do. Ooh. I'm really trying to not have coffee be the first thing I, I drink in the morning because I know it's like pretty, it like messes up your hormones and that is the last thing I need. So I'm trying to have like athletic greens and then an hour later have coffee. So I'm doing that. I'm gonna go get ready. Oh, I don't even know what I wanna do for my nails. I started reading City of Girls last night. My mom recommended it to me. It's like one of her favorite books and it's so good and so far, I'm only, I'd already like tried to read it once I saw it in the sample, but I think I just like wasn't in the mood for that book at that time. It is giving major Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo vibes. She just read the Simple Wild series. I think she finished it yesterday and is obsessed like me. And you have to just trust us. The title and the cover, they're cheesy and they look horrible, but like that is, I think it might be like my all time favorite series. That, Magnolia Parks, and like Twilight, you know? So, oh. Fitz wants to say hello. Hi. He has been really making sure he's getting a lot of attention these days. Isn't that right, Fitz? Isn't that right? Sorry if you hear Coco barking. She's in her crate. She has to get rested and she's not having it this morning. I need to put my outfit. I kind of want to wear what I wore yesterday for like 20 minutes after the shower and then I change it to pajamas. Also, I want to get a light fixture up there. Because turning these on is like actually such a pain and I feel like they're dead now and I don't know how to charge them and no one, like whoever installed it didn't say that. So, it's like I could wear this bright pink Skims cozy set, 
But I'm already in this, and I feel like that's enough attention, you know? Like, I don't really... I'm not really looking for that. This is the look since I'm getting, okay. Since I'm getting my nails done, I just threw on my like Prada slides. Pants like these, like I never love the fit of them on me and I feel like they're awkward and I don't like that they're like to my ankles and I'm also like very pale right now. Um, but I like the sweater, I like the idea of it. It feels very like Amanda Woods. I also love in a sweater when you can see like the t-shirt peeking under. Okay. With Chico? Oh, I had surgery. Thank you. Yeah, I'm fine. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Have a good day. Guys, I got my brows waxed and my lip. And like, I'm that person who is, I'm not like in that much pain. My eyes, sorry. Just listening to Martha Stewart's podcast, all about home design. Anyways, I am that person, like, my eyes water like crazy when I get my brows done and I leave and everyone's, like, looking at me. And I ask them if I, like, the worst of all of them and they said, girl, you're one of the worst. So, I thought everyone's eyes watered that bad. It's, like, literally bright red. So, love that for me. I got my nails just pink, which I'm not super excited about. It matches my New Year's Eve, like, fit. But, um, it wasn't like really what I was going for for Europe, but I just like couldn't decide at all. And I was like, do I do brown? Do I do something else? And I just went with pink. But we're getting a pink scarf in today that I'm going to be wearing. So, I think it's going to be good. Alright, I'm going to my one week post-op. So beautiful here. Surprise, surprise, I got Flower Child again. The exact same order from last night for lunch. Yeah. Putting on Tommy Lies, I'm gonna start the show. I'm gonna eat first, but after that, I will be organizing my kitchen, which will be a life-changing experience. I'm gonna time myself. We'll get to that soon. All right, I'm gonna set a timer for 30 minutes for my drawers. Guys, they're really embarrassing. I don't even wanna show you my other ones. Um, they're just not good. So I'm gonna be going through, like why do I even have so many toothpicks? I don't know. Okay. Going through that and then the other ones. I'm setting a timer for 30 minutes. Hopefully I'm done with all this by 4 p.m. Um, my actual cabinets up here have been professionally organized. I just have to do the rest. I thought they were doing the rest and they only did those. So have some stuff to do. This drawer, it's still like clutter, but it looks better. And I got everything out of this drawer, which is disgusting on the inside. And this drawer, also disgusting on the inside. I have everything here that I'm gonna put back and organize. This will be kitchen tools, that'll be utensils. Um, and then I brought my Dyson down because I'm gonna clean out the drawers. finished with two minutes left. This makes you so much more productive. This drawer over here, it still looks really cluttered. It's still my junk drawer. Okay, I said that. Okay. And it is crazy cluttered, but like there is a, like, a method to the madness. K-cups that are falling over. Chargers, this is more random. Band-aid screws, uh, um, batteries, whatever. It still looks like so crazy, but just now it's better, okay? Over here, I wish I would have shown you guys the before because it was so embarrassing. So I have like my kitchen stuff that I use more frequently. I've moved my cute measuring cups here, serving knives, my utensils. Um, I have more coming, so that's why they're like all together instead of like separate and big and small. And then I have a few Christmas things back there that I obviously don't use year round. And then in here, I just have my go-to other like kitchen tools. Back there, I have cookie cutters, which I will eventually move once I have more storage because I'm not like pulling for those all the time. But it is so much better. This cabinet, oh, 
this cabinet is actually already organized, so I don't even have to worry about this one. Thank God. What I have to worry about, well, not really, because, okay, this one, it's not that bad. There's just stuff that's fallen from the top drawer. This, it's more so like seeing what tools I want and then this stupid, okay, like Lazy Susan. I've never had a Lazy Susan in my house that's been convenient ever. So I'm gonna go through and basically just see what items I wanna keep in here and what items I wanna donate or give away or whatever. So this will be like a 40 minute thing. Guys, this actually like barely took any time. I somehow just did that in 20 minutes. Actually, I don't know if I stopped my timer. Yeah. 20 minutes and I took the trash out. I separated things too of like what I'm donating versus what's trash versus like most of it that I'm actually getting rid of was trash, just like random papers and things like that, but whatever. It feels so much better in here and because obviously I love cooking so much and like I spend so much time in the kitchen, I am just so pleased, like everything is organized. This is, oh, love that. Everything is organized. Okay, so I have two blenders. One small, one is big. And I feel like that's dumb. Um, and then I have a juicer. And then back here, I organize and everything is like in its own place. I have um, some napkins too that I like to just have out. I do have one dog, two dog things in here. Just because I'm constantly pulling for them. This is like my kitchen string and everything. So I love all of this. I think today I'm actually going to fill out some of my favorite recipes in my recipe book. I haven't gotten a chance to do that. I've only put in like, I think two, but I feel like a whole new woman. I need a new rug in here, but I feel like a whole new woman and my mom is gonna be so proud of me. Like so proud of me. Okay, I've been going through, sorry. I'm watching Martha Stewart. It's been a big Martha day. I was reading this cookbook, just going through more recipes I wanted to try, but I'm actually craving just my peach like balsamic glazed chicken that I love to make. So I'm gonna go on a nice long walk to the grocery store, pick up some stuff just for tonight. It's only almost four. I've walked off like four hours today to organize thinking my kitchen was gonna take four hours, it took under an hour. So a lot of extra time. So I'm gonna go walk, get my groceries, come back, cook, and then make my vision board. It is randomly 70 degrees, guys. I am very confused. But I changed into just the bar crew and then I'm wearing biker shorts. I am the palest I've ever been, like my legs right now. I don't even think you can, yeah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna tan tonight. I decided I'll just tan twice before you're up. I think it'll be okay. Not that tanning really matters because I'm gonna be in like clothes that are covering me the whole time, but also updated my AirPod Maxes. I got them, complained about the price a million times um, because it is crazy compared to like normal headphones. I do really like them and I find that they hold the charge the best compared to some other ones. Actually, I love my Bose though as well. Um, I just lost them and then I finally found them and I had already purchased these. Um, that's always how it happens, you know? Anyways, I do really like them. They look like really funny. Back to my favorite place literally ever. They're out of the really small baskets. So I have to really remember, I can't put everything in this cart. Just got the best thing in the mail. That's the next products that we're launching for the Okai. I just needed another sample and I'm obsessed. You guys will see it. In the next video, um, also I'm gonna be wearing it in Europe, like nonstop, so you may have seen it on Instagram already. Anyways, I'm an idiot, and obviously it's December, there's no peaches, so I got pears, and we're gonna do a pear balsamic glazed chicken, and I'm just gonna kinda like test different things out. I also got this new, well it's not new, it's the rosé wine. I'm not a huge like rosé girl, well then, I don't know. I do want to try it though. I love Abilene. It's my favorite wine. But at the same time, I do have the white wine here that's been chilled that I feel like, I think I'm actually going to drink this while I 
um, half dinner because, yeah, I like, I mean, it's rosé. I don't know. Like, what do I try? Comment below. Which one do you like the best? Um, and then I'm just going to make some dinner and do, oh, I also got these party smart pills. This takes me back, like, to five years ago. Lindsay Hughes and I, we would go to Soul Cycle every Monday night. And we were also obsessed with these party smart pills. At the same time, I had a one-bedroom apartment in downtown Los Angeles. I had 32 people on the guest list who all regularly came over. I held every pregame. I can't believe I didn't get kicked out, but I was the first person. I was living at the Olive in downtown Los Angeles, and I was the first person to ever move into that building. So I didn't have neighbors for a very long time. That's actually how I got away with it. Anyways, we were obsessed with these pills, and I haven't tried them in years. So I wonder if I'm still going to like them as much as... I like them, um, what am I saying? I wonder if I'm still going to like them as much as I did then because I've tried a lot since. Um, but I'm just like getting ahead for packing and I'm going to want that. And then also I'll be bringing Waterboy because I don't do hangovers. I don't do hangovers at all. So that's another thing that will be getting packed. Normally I just pack and I'm like ready to go. I don't know why I'm acting like I'm going on like the red carpet in Europe. Like, I'm literally, my outfits are going to be covered, also, favorite drink ever. My outfits are literally going to be covered with, um, coats anyways, but whatever. I'm going to cook. I'm very excited. I haven't cooked all week. Have a glass of wine, shower, read, make a vision board, tan. It's really my ideal life. So at peace, I'm chopping, currently cooking, drinking my Aveline wine, found this Spotify playlist, which is so good. It's such a good cooking playlist. I also have one called My Mature Cooking Playlist that I love, but it's Ina Garden's Thanksgiving one, and it's all like thankful, whatever. And I'm actually like, wow, like, I love this. The streets are mine. so Okay, I finished, and I'm really not even that hungry, so I don't even know. I think I'm going to wait to eat this, honestly. Just self-tanned, so I'm waiting for my tan to dry on my face before I put my compression gear on, but I got this dress in that I ordered in the mail from Meshki. The quality is incredible. The dress is actually, like, heavy, um, so I'm excited. I'm hoping to wear this in Europe. I'm going to try it on and see you tomorrow. If not, Jess has a birthday dinner coming up, and this would be cute for that, too. I mean, I just got, like, a lot of things going on. So, if not now, then another point. I'm very excited about that. I still haven't even finished my glass of wine. I'm heating up dinner again. Gonna eat and then get to my vision board. Also, I'm gonna answer some of the questions. Like, I know Jen Atkin has the one that's really popular, Danielle Orbay. Just tagged me in her questions, and it's 27 questions, but she's, like, queen of questions. Um, so I'm going to go through and do all of that tonight, like journaling, vision boarding. I do like different categories. I do it on Canva. I do Kenzie Elizabeth and then I do like personal life, work life and within work I do like YouTube, podcast, social, um, the Oak Ridge has a separate one and yeah, it's just like separate things. So I'm going to eat this. It smells incredible. My house smells so good right now. That's one of the best things about making this dish. It's just so good. Okay guys, I just finished my vision board. It's 8 p.m. and I really wanna read my book. I do wanna journal and go through all of those prompts and stuff still. It just took me forever to do my vision board and honestly, I'll, like, I'll keep adding to it. Um, but I just separate it. I don't wanna like show it because I feel like that's just so personal. I say that as I like literally vlogged in plastic surgery, but um, there's just like a lot of things that I want to do, you know? A lot of it is just like things my friends. It's crazy looking back at last year's vision board though because 
so much of it i just remember like really really wanting and now it's like that is just like my reality more so my personal life and like girls trips and just like my friendships which i always talk about being like the number one most important thing like my relationships in life because that's ultimately what fulfills me and like what makes me happy obviously i love working and i love building a career and i'm just very like that's like a natural like I'm like wired that way and I love it but the thing that's most fulfilling are like the relationships and I it's crazy because so much of what I wanted like last year and the year before that it's like I don't even really feel like I need to put that on my vision board this year like it's crazy that something that I wanted so bad for so long has now become like my norm you know what I mean anyways I did some of the things I didn't do some of the things um, or didn't achieve some of the things, but it doesn't really matter. I like putting a lot of things to the vision board Even if I'm not gonna get to it that year I'll just move it to the next year vision board. You know what I mean? But yeah, hopefully this isn't gonna mess up my tan I guess we're gonna find out. I love the book that I'm reading so I want to get to that I might go get a cookie and read my book Good morning, I'm just out running errands. I went on a very nice little walk this morning. It was so nice to actually get up, but I was like, this is diff more difficult than I imagined because I haven't gone on a walk. I was supposed to be walking for recovery for this, but it was 10 degrees um, and it's just been really cold and now it's not cold, so I went on a walk and I was like, this, this is scary that this is winding me. So I just did a revolve return and I am going to stop at Jimmy's Deli because my grandma, Myga, she lives in like a, basically it's like an old person sorority house. It's apartment living and it's very community oriented and they're all friends. They're having a New Year's Eve thing tomorrow and she needs me to pick up something from Jimmy's Deli. We love Jimmy's Deli and I'm gonna drop it off at her house tomorrow. She's watching Coco while I'm gone, so I have to go there anyway. So I'm going there. It's just like the best place ever. It's so cool. It smells incredible. It's just a great deli. Guys, I am so hot. I just packed for Europe. I filmed an entire pack with me video. It took me three hours, but I got everything down and I feel really on top of it. I am gonna need to get my skincare out of this bag still. So this stuff shouldn't really be packed up, but I'm gonna start, actually, I don't know why Fitz wants to bark as soon as I speak. I'm going to start, I'm gonna start charging everything so I just have it all good and ready to go. We have to, okay, Alyssa and I are doing our Christmas. I'm not. You actually have a surprise this year. She gets an extra one because she got engaged. Don't worry about it. Yeah, in case you guys didn't know. <laughs> Just to be clear. Not not dramatically. <laughs> yeah. Any means. No, not at all. Don't oh, like attention. I was that was. Hates attention. Hates, yeah. Um, yeah. and I both. You know, we just we don't live no, for it. I literally hate attention. I thought about that when I'm gonna wear it at the airport tomorrow. I have to wear that big furry oh, coat, coat in the airport and I'm gonna have this on. I'm like That's as a, if, a mood though. No, but like as if I wasn't gonna get enough looks. Yeah, you know what I mean? You already were gonna get something. Yeah. Also, can we talk about this bag? I know, really cute, it's right? It's so cute. It's really Where just find this? Paper source. Of course. Okay. Which I was in for awakening when I realized how expensive all my stuff was. Ended up being. We love when kids use black tissue paper. Yeah. Well, also, just very important. Just very important. Ooh. I just didn't take your coat out of it. By the way, we sent each other links. The only thing that's a surprise yeah. is this. Oh, this Hopefully. Is this. Okay. Oh, oh my God, the coat! I kind of forgot about it, so it is kind of a surprise. Yeah! There wow. you go. She picked it out. I did pick it I out. I didn't have order. I don't want to go. We've been doing this for many years now. We just send each other what we want. That's but then we always are very happy. Look at what I got in the middle <gasps> I got a Hill House puffer. I'm not bringing it with me. Oh look, my look god, it is so um, cute. Macy told me that I could go to her house in Mammoth with her in like February. It's so cute. So I'm gonna wear it then. Well, I can wear it when I'm home. But like how that, cute is this? I love this. That's like, just the added frill. Even this, this jeans and Uggs is like so cute. I love yeah. it. Oh my god. It's the coat. It is the coat. Yeah. If you know, you know. And it's funny because Kenzie's been wearing this coat for a while and I think like- I know. No yours is different than mine. It's yours is like more looks. Yeah, all of my good auto wear pretty much is our H and M, and you so like. Watch out, Bo. No, he's just he's having a good time. Um, wait, cute. It is really cute. This one's more you than the other one than mine is. Which with like, the tie and stuff, it's cute. Yeah, it's cute. I like the snap buttons. Yeah. Also, 
Wait, I could totally bring this to France. Oh, I'm yeah. going next month. I'm going in February. You were going. That's very cute. It's perfect. It's actually perfect, like the size too, uh -huh. because you don't, you want to be able to layer people. Yeah. I love it. Obviously. Thank you. Wait, open your other oh, one. Oh, sorry. This guys. is the exciting one. This is just something I'm that actually going to change in. I have a massage tonight, so I'm actually going to change into what you got. Are you going to the prom? massage? No, um, Vivian's is having me in. Just wait for okay, it. Okay, I don't want to close my eyes. It's more yeah. cool. Yeah. Okay, well, hopefully they fold it right. Look at how cute. Wait, does it? Say Snyder? Yes. Guys, look, it's her new last name. I have one that says Kinsey on it, but that's because I'm single. How Thank cute you. is this? Blah, blah, bar. Great for the couch. Great decor. It's more of a decor piece. I said it's a decor it's piece. Small. I got Sophie one, like the kids' that's version. What I thought. It's so cute. And Sophie is. I love it. Thrilled. She loves it. Oh, she's way more excited than I thought she would be. Oh way my more god. Excited. Can you guys, one thing about Kenzie, she's a great gift giver. That is true. I am a really good Really giver. good. I like to say I'm pretty good, too. Kenzie, my piece is slightly better. Um, did not have time to wrap. I've been in yeah, we're past Arizona, past. Southwest. She was a victim of Southwest. Victim. But it also, this oh, is something that was so linked. Soft. I actually well. might wear that top on the plane tomorrow because I have a different one. But she needed this before her big trip. Oh, so my soft. gosh. It is the softest. It I is so I love the gray, soft. too. Oh, I'm so excited. You might need yeah, to I'm wear, gonna this wear this tomorrow. tomorrow. I was going to wear a great long sleeve anyway, so I'll just oh. wear this one. It's so cute. It's literally perfect. Thank you so much. You're so welcome. I'll be changing almost immediately. That's um, very soft. Um, get this where do you think that's from? Kenzie's like favorite store. Yeah, it starts with an S It's actually ends this little an indie brand. It's called uh, Skims. Yeah. I don't know if you guys have heard of it. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it, guys. Merry Christmas, everyone. Okay, so I was just telling Alyssa how I've become such a wine girl these days. You've been a wine girl for like I a have. long time. Yeah. But but it's crazy because when I, I just overnight became a wine person and like the thought of someone getting me jello shots at high fives uh, makes me want to jump no. off a cliff. Will I yeah. still take them? Probably. So don't hold me to it when I <laughs> yes. see videos of me later. That's not me and that's mm. none of your mind your business, okay? Yeah. But it's crazy, like all of a sudden I just want to be like mature. It, it's the Aveline though too. At uh, what point do I start? I know. And it's only only natural organic. Only. Yeah. It tastes so much better though, and you don't the have natural a hang of this does. I think it does. Oh really? Well I, I agree. Is that uh, random? Savannah number? Mears. Oh, one sec. Okay guys, Alyssa just left. I'm wearing my new skims and I'm about to go get a massage at Vivian Spa. I'm very excited. Lauren, they're they're hosting Lauren and I. So we're gonna go get a massage, a 90 minute massage too. Like, oh my gosh, I don't even know what to do with myself. I'm gonna keep this on until, like, if they do anything here, then I'll take it off and then I'll put it back on. All right, we are at Vivian's. It's so cute, Lauren and I are here. We're matching. We're actually getting a couple's massage, basically. <laughs> one time, one time Margo and I in Cabo, do you know this story? We got a couple's massage. But we were like, whatever, like, we just are codependent. And then there was like a showering part. But like, we also didn't think anything of it. It was just like, thank God it was like us together. Cause like, imagine if it was like someone that like you're not that close with. Like, we were like yeah. butt ass naked basically. Actually, I think we were in the shower. That's how you know, true friends. Anyways, I have tea. It's so cute in here, guys. Lower Greenville area, love. The massage was great, very relaxing. Coco is exhausted on me. It is 8.15. I'm gonna finish editing this vlog and then do a few other things and go to bed. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, get ready, oh wow, Coco. Get ready for some fun vlogs. Comment below if you guys, your thoughts and feelings on New Year's resolutions. Are we into them or are we not? I like goal setting at any point in the year. Um, and I like to do it around the new year as well, but I typically like update it and do it throughout. I'm just like a goals girl, you know? I don't have like a resolution re or a resolution. I don't have those, but I do have goals and stuff. So anyways, hope you guys enjoyed. Love you guys so much and I'll talk to you in the next vlog.